To make your clay teddy bear, you need to start by making a name tag. This way I'll know whose bear is whose. So write your name, your room number, and your table number circled. And try to write it around the edge so that we can read it when the bear is sitting in right in the middle here. So I'm going to pretend I sit at table eight. So I'll circle eight. You put your table number there. And then just put that aside. Then you'll start your teddy bear by taking this clay tool and cutting right down the center. I made this diagram for you to look at to help to remind you what the steps are. So number one, you're going to cut the clay in half. All right. So when we put a put it right down the middle and use the side that isn't taped. I put that tape there so you won't cut your thumb when you press down on it. And I'm just going to, I like to take it and sort of wiggle it back and forth like this and slide it right down into that loaf of clay. And then you can just sort of twist that off just like that. And I'm going to take the larger, I wanted it to be half and half, but I'm going to, if you have one that's a little bigger, take the bigger half. Then turn it so that you're looking at the flat side and make sure that that's nice and round. All right. Then you're going to take your thumb and press that right into the center of the clay and sort of twist your thumb like that and cup it so that you don't go all the way through. That's going to make it so that it'll, it'll, it will be hollow. We need to have clay hollow, otherwise it'll, it'll crack in the firing process. So we don't want too large of a lump of clay. And that's going to be the body. And I'm just going to set that aside. Make sure that it sits nicely, that it doesn't wobble or tip over. So that's going to be the body of the clay, or the, the bear. Now, number two, the thumb in the hole. We already did that. So number three is you're going to take and you're going to cut this half that does not have the hole in the bottom. You're going to cut that in half. And you can cut it this way or that way. It doesn't matter. I'll just cut it right down the middle. And again, I'm going to rock it back and forth. And then I just twist those off. One and two. The one of those is going to be for number four, step number four, and one will be for step number five. And I'm going to just put step number five aside. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to cut this into quarters. Because when we cut it into four equal parts, then they're one fourth. And one fourth and one fourth and one fourth and one fourth make up one whole piece. So I'm going to cut that in half. And then I'm going to cut them in half again. So I have four pieces. Now remember, I still have this, this piece here for step number five. That's going to be for the head and the ears and the snout. So I need to keep that. Then I'm going to add, I'm going to add these to the main body. And these are the, the legs of the bear. To stick those on there, but they're not in the right shape. So I'm just going to roll them into a ball by just rolling them in the center of my hand. And I can also shape them by just turning them and, and pinching them if they're a little uneven. And these should be about the same size. Now at this point, you might want to use the diagram that I have for you um, so that you know where these arms and legs, or I should say legs, belong. They're going to go right here, 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 and here. And make sure that you leave some space in there for the tummy, because we're going to press a little heart stamp in there. So now if I just press them on like that, they stick. Yeah, they stick. But as soon as it dries, they're going to fall off. So I have to do something called scratching and attaching. Okay. Scratching and attaching is very important when working with clay. I'm just going to press that on there and twist it just a little bit. Just kind of jimmy it up back and forth like that. And then I'm going to pull it off. Now can you see that indentation there? That is where I need to scratch. So I'm going to look at my tools again. I'm going to put that one back. And I'm going to find a 
stick with a point on it. And I'm just going to make some lines, some scratches. Not too deep, but not too shallow. Just so that the clay is nice and rough. And then I'm going to pick that up where that I'm going to put, or the, the arm that I'm going to put on. And I'm going to scratch it here also and make that nice and rough. Then I'm going to take something called slip. And you'd think that slip would make it slippery, but actually slip is the glue. And it comes in these bottles here like this. It's just clay that's been watered down. And I'll give you a cup and you can put it in the cup. Sometimes it gets clogged. I'll just pour a little out. Okay, there we go. It's just clay that's been thinned out. And that's going to be the glue that's going to keep this bare leg on there. And you can, you can dip your finger in it if you like and dab it on, or you can just dip your piece in it. In it. Don't get too much. And then just press it on like that. And give it a little twist. If there's extra around, you can sort of wipe it off with your finger. And then if on your, on your maybe have a paper towel at your table um, that will help you get any excess off. But that acts like the glue. And then I'm going to do that with all four. Now that I've got those all attached by scratching and putting slip, I'm just going to press my thumb on them to give them a good um, press so that they really stick on. And it also flattens them out so that I can add some details a little bit later. Now I'm ready to go to step number five, and that's to make the head. And I'm, you'd think that, oh, I'll make the whole head on this, but I've got to save a little bit for the ears. and the snout. So I'm going to take, and I'm not going to cut it in half this time, I'm just going to cut about, if I were going to cut it in quarters, about a quarter of it off. So that's a half of a half. All right, and I'm just going to save this, set that aside. This is going to become the head then. And so I can either pinch it round or roll it. Rolling it is probably a better choice. Getting it, nice, getting it nice and round. And if there's any cracks or indentations, I'm going to smooth those out with my thumb. Then that goes on the top like that. But again, if I leave it like that, I know it's sticking now, but when it dries, that's going to fall right off. So I've made an indentation there. I can see where it's going to sit. So I don't want to scratch too far out into the outside edge because that'll show and that won't look very good. And then I'm going to do it on that flattened part of the, the head. And then I'll just dip in some slip and press that on. Put my thumb in the middle so it doesn't cave in. And then press that on there really good. Give it a little motion back and forth like that to sort of twist it on a bit. Now I'm ready to do the ears. And so I'm going to take a little bit of clay off of here, about the size of a large pea. Not too big or it'll look like a mouse. And I'm just going to roll those into little balls. Let's see, are they about the same size? I think they're pretty close. So now I'm just going to put those on, just like I did with the legs, scratching it. I'm going to dip it in some of the slip, put it on there. And again, I'm going to do the same thing over here. Dip it into the slip. Press it on. And I'm just going to slightly flatten them out just a little bit. I'm going to give them a slight pinch so they're flat like a little ear. And then mm -hmm. I'm going to put a snout with all the rest of my clay. I'm going to press that on. And what I did is I, I rolled it into a ball first 
And then I just rolled it out a little bit so it made an oval. So you have more of an oval shape. And you're going to put it on just like this. I'm going to scratch it on both sides. Put some slip on it and press it on. And that's all we're going to do for today. Next time we're going to finish it off with the details. Hopefully you get that far. Oops, and then take your name tag and you'll put it on top of your name tag so that your name shows, all right? So that when I pat, I can pass them out easy next time and then we'll finish them up next time with all the details. And they will go on a board um, on the counter.